So a few months back Nike decided to bring back a very well known uh, silhouette which was a very popular few years ago but they decided to introduce it uh, back to us as a trail shoe. Guys, today we're gonna do a double unboxing for this uh, Nike shoes. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the first one, which uh, comes in a very simple box, which is uh, having a very clear message that this is uh, using some recycled material. So let's go ahead and take them out. Okay, guys, so I give you the Nike Free Run Trail Pineapple. Let's go ahead and also take the second one out of the box. So this one has a drawer type box, so let's go ahead and slide them out. Okay guys, so I give you the Nike Free Run Trail Hyper Local Berlin. So let's go ahead and start with this uh, pineapple one. It's actually released on the 17th of June in UK for a retail price of 115 pounds, which I guess it's a fair price given that uh, you have nice materials overall. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, I don't know if you remember a few months back I've uh, done uh, the review for the Nike Free Run Trail uh, Green Glow which I need to be very honest with you, I was very disappointed about uh, the materials, the actual feet uh, of the shoe, I actually couldn't put them on my feet, I just decided to send them back as uh, I wasn't impressed at all, but this time Nike decided to release uh, two new other versions uh, and this uh, pineapple will be one of them. And I really need to admit that uh, this color combination is actually looking much better than the grey one in my opinion. So uh, this pineapple is actually using almost the same material like the previous one. So we have this uh, synthetic suede on the top and underneath we have uh, that uh, very breathable mesh which in this uh, case will be green as you can see uh, through this uh, leather uh, holes which they are quite big, so uh, this uh, look uh, actually it's inspired by uh, the coconut milk and uh, it has some metallic gold uh, colors as well. But the actual uh, theme for this uh, shoe is uh, skin deep, meaning that uh, the design features uh, Pinatex, which is actually a pineapple leather made from uh, byproducts of uh, pineapple products. So uh, I'm actually quite amazed that uh, they can do leather from other products than uh, the conventional ones. As you can see, the midsole uh, really looks like a, a coconut shell. So uh, it really uh, embraces this uh, pineapple team as you can see here uh, at the tongue uh, we have also a very funny coconut uh, face so uh, it looks quite nice to be honest and this being a sock type uh, shoe of course it will be more uh, difficult to get them on so uh, in my case uh, as i've experienced in the previous one um, this time i decided to go half size up and given that I have uh, skinny feet, uh, I still feel that this one is actually quite fit and it's embracing uh, my foot uh, a bit too much, if I can say so. So if you have wider uh, feet, you should go full size up and I guess uh, that one will be actually much better for you. Inside, as you can see, we have a very uh, a green sock liner and uh, the insole is actually uh, uh, cork infused and uh, it really feels quite uh, soft and squishy but I should say that this uh, foam uh, midsole it's not as uh, squishy as you would expect so uh, 
Uh, this one is slightly more hardened than your uh, usual uh, foam uh, mint soles. As you can see underneath we have uh, a very nice uh, rubber outsole which uh, of course being a trail shoe really gives a very good support and uh, grip. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, speak about uh, the second one now. So uh, this one as you can see uh, has the same look overall. We have uh, exactly the same uh, midsole but in a different color. Uh, we have uh, the same upper but in a different material. So it's a proper leather with uh, again very big uh, holes. Uh, which reveal that underneath you have a very breathable mesh as you can see it's in this uh, silver color but actually this one was released on the 18th of June for a retail price of 125 pounds here in the UK and uh, this one is called the Hyperlocal Berlin and it's actually slightly more different than the previous two of them so this one is actually inspired by the Berlin's uh, sneaker community and uh, actually a tribute uh, to Berlin as uh, one of the greenest uh, cities in Europe with uh, more parks, gardens and forested areas than any other uh, European city so these uh, hints of uh, uh, green on the laces, on the pull tab and also inside of the shoe it's actually a tribute to Berlin so as you can see it combines a very airy mesh with this uh, leather here uh, it's actually very lightweight uh, I was expecting it to be uh, slightly more heavier the midsole uh, of course it's in uh, this uh, same uh, foam as the previous ones and uh, it's in this uh, green color and uh, of course underneath uh, you can see that uh, this uh, very grippy uh, black uh, parts here at the front and at the back uh, they are actually made out of uh, regrind so uh, again Nike it's using some recycled materials on both of these shoes and uh, I really need to admit that this one actually feels much uh, better than the previous two uh, you can feel the actual uh, uh, quality of the materials and uh, I think it's actually embracing my foot slightly more better than the previous tools and uh, as you can see on this upper uh, we have some hints of uh, reflective 3M which will glow very nice uh, during the night time and uh, again uh, for the actual sizing uh, as uh, for the pineapple as well I decided to go a half size up and I uh, think I've made a good decision but yet again as I have uh, skinny feet uh, I really feel that it, it embraces my actual foot uh, quite firmly so uh, I really need to suggest that if you have wider uh, feet than normal you should go a full size up and that will be just fine uh, this one as you can see it doesn't have uh, your normal laces it's, it has this uh, uh, loop system or infinity laces if you know them from uh, easy but uh, you also have this uh, pull on loop and uh, yeah overall i really need to admit that uh, this one is actually my favorite and uh, uh, it feels slightly more better than this one. I'm not entirely sure if it's the materials or uh, it's just me that I like this one more. Also for the Hyperlocal Berlin, you can see that uh, we have uh, something extra on the laces. So uh, this is looking quite nice, this uh, metallic uh, strap if I can say so. And uh, yeah, uh, guys, this was my uh, unboxing and uh, reviewing of this um, Nike Free Run uh, Trail Pineapple and Hyperlocal Berlin. I really hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.